Thanks for staying with us. So the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has also come under fire on social media following a leaked memo conveying the approval of 30 million naira for the construction of a Friday mosque with taxpayers' funds. Now, what are your thoughts on this? You can call us again on 0812705 You can also call us on 091390 You can tweet to us at TVC Collect. Please hashtag your VTVC so we can read your tweets. I'd like to start with Nima again on this because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we hear of this in our own side of town. And I hardly hear it from, 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 from that, that a mosque is being built for 30 million with taxpayers' funds. Could you tell us exactly so it's, it's your thoughts on this? It's to build a mosque anyway you look at it. But to build it with taxpayers' money is mm. a different matter entirely. I've, like I always said, religious matters should be left to people who have the capacity to do good. So I, my father started a mosque that he privately built. And a central mosque is something that we... We have central mosques mm. around the country everywhere that communities are building. It should not be taken from government money. And this is the Ministry of Agriculture. So for me, it's double heartbreak for me. Imagine that they empowered farmers with fertilizers, you know, create a, a, a grass because, you know, their cattle rearers, help them to plant grasses that, you know, they could use to feed their cattle and then help in some way use this money to reduce the influx of traveling and, you know, nomadic movement of cattle around the country and more fight between farmers and others. Mm -hmm. It would have been more use, uh, useful. But the spokesperson for the Ministry of Agriculture then comes out to say that, ah, what is there? There's nothing there. We built it mm. as a part of resettlement mm. for the people. And I'm wondering, you're resettling a farm and you want to build a grand mosque that will cost 30, mil cost 30 million. Something yeah. is not adding up. Either somebody shop the money. Somebody wants to shop the money. Or somebody wants to shop the money. Because cattle's... You, if you go to places, they can organize their Juma service anywhere, even in an open field. Or build a tent. The, 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 the congregation is the people, not the building. I have seen the Honorable Minister of uh, Information, uh, Balaji Lai Mohammed, pray <clears throat> on one outside place like this. Ooh. When it was time to pray, Thank I you. was shocked when he came down from the car, from his Jeep. He's he came yeah, down and joined the drivers and the bike drivers. Mm -hmm. and, they all, and I was like, really? It was so humbling to see it. So when you are building a whole, whole structure, structure. So for, the for, former for, Emir of Kanu, you know, I, you will say that I love him. I just like that man wow, for his him. intellect. Mm. When he criticized and he insisted on regulating religion, it's for reasons like this. Because people like the show off. Mm. And this is a religion that even forbids that show off. It's when that we are careful mm. to do so much. When it's time for solar, everybody becomes as simple as you be when you're dead. Mm. As if you have nothing. Hmm. You can pray anywhere, anywhere your salah meets you, you pray. And I know these cattle men, they've been praying before they decided to go and sacrifice one grand building for them. That mosque, maybe total, will not cost 10 million, but somebody has, you know, budgeted 30 million for it and is trying to Christ, justify yeah. it with religion. Mm. And that's, that's the then you come service to that will your thoughts on this before I come to talk <sighs> When I saw that, I was like, ah, this religion again, this same religion again, what is the priority of the Ministry of Agriculture? Now, they had explained that they wanted to resettle the farmers by giving them a place of worship. Is giving them a place of worship the first thing that you should be thinking of? Have you, have you given them a good place to stay? Do they have portable water? Do they have good homes? Do they have where they can keep their animals? Do yes, they have, they have you made all yeah. of those provisions for them? It's to build a worship center where we know that you can actually pray anywhere. Is that the... The, the priority of the Ministry of Agriculture. Like it was, I was trying to understand agriculture and building a religious house. Well, see, I see, didn't understand see, that. why I would like us to be careful is because, listen, let's, 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 let's acknowledge something. Mm. We are different kinds of people, okay? Mm. There are different regions, well, there are ethnic differences, religious differences. Mm. I know you can talk about the religious part, but there are some, there's some, there's some um, ethnic differences that we cannot, com we cannot really we can't discuss, understand. we can't understand. Mm. So for you, Building a mosque might not be the priority, should not be. Mm. But in the, other communities, that could be the most important thing at the time. For, that, 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 for them, that is value. 
to them. So it depends. We cannot mm. we cannot judge based on where we are of our own map no, of the world. Value a value against development. Are mm -hmm. we not working mm -hmm. towards the development of the country? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see that this business that this, these people are into yeah. is causing a lot of harm, and we're trying to find you know modern solutions to settle everybody so mm. that we can have peace we can have better growth of our animals mm. and you want to pick religion first mm. i'm just trying to understand so okay, please, let, let me just okay, please yeah. just, please yeah. let me just put it in priority for you so the reward of building the mosque is for the muslim mm. not for the ministry of agriculture and whoever is sitting down there using taxpayers money mm. if you are to resettle them they sell their cattle in peace. They farm in peace in their settlement. They make their money. profits, mm. they give it back to God by either you know, doing charity or building in the name of God mm -hmm. a home, a house where they can congregate. It is not for the Ministry of Agriculture to, to do, do that do because that. You, you know the sensitive religious thing, that's what I'm talking. Mm. Now when you have a building of 30 million naira without education for a religion that says that pursue education even as far as China, that prioritizes education and knowledge to a 100% for every Muslim, and you do not create a place where they can get that education mm. and get that exposure that they need for us to move beyond where we have been we for the past 60 years. There's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, Raya, you asked the question that what if that's what they want? Mm. That these people, we don't know them. We don't know what they prioritize. Mm. The job of the government is not to give people what they want. It's to give people what they, they believe need. they deserve. Mm. So you create a vision for your people. Mm. If the people say they want to wear rags, you say, my people, you cannot wear rags. Mm. I will give you cloth. Not anymore. If people say that I want to eat... Um, um, on the trash. On the floor. You say, no, my people, I'm going to give you a table and plate and give you proper food. So the idea is not for the government to give people what they want, um, what they want but what you believe will make their lives better, better. because you are coming with a vision. Now, uh, BC then, raised then, that then, issue. I'll let you go back. Mm. So it, it's also a decision whereby a governor was giving some people uh, noodles. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I made that statement uh, then. Yes. Yeah. That giving people, you say, oh, we, we don't know what they need from the Southwest, that um, people in the North, they actually prefer that wheelbarrow mm. and they want to be Métis. And I said, no, the job of the governor is to cast a better vision mm. for them what, where they are. Right. But they provided amenities because they, uh, I mean, in reaction to the leak, the press release said that they had provided solar powered boreholes for mm. them. Yeah. with overhead tanks and drinking throws for their cattle and small ruminants. They provided water harvesting structures, milk collection centers, resettlement abode as well. These were all provided for. Um, I did and not see where million. they put school there yeah, because I'm sure if they had provided a school, they would have written, would have been written for their there. children at let least. Me, let, me go on children, let me go on a yes. break, then we'll continue with you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still on this matter of the 30 million naira mosque that was built by the Ministry of Agriculture. Yes, Tokwe, continue. So, um, so apart from all the things they said they had done, they said this particular mosque was a request from the Borneo state government to avoid these people from moving, the, the settlers from moving too far to pray and getting in contact with insurgents. So the um, reply was that this memo is official. They followed all due procedure before they approved 30 million naira in a Borno state <clears throat> where there is so much crisis going on to build a mosque. Yes. So if the go Borno government requested that it must be built with that amount of money. There was a community that requested, not the government, the community. The it community. says that the construction of the mosque was a special request from the community to or through the, the Borno state, state gov government. Um, government. From yes. the community yes. through the Borno yes. state yes. government yes. to yes. avoid moving too fast. Yes. Yes. Like I said, the pe people might not know what they should have. The government should know better. The Minister for Agriculture should know better. I have worked too hard in the agricultural mm. sector of mm. this country to know that we have many things that 30 million will do for us as a nation. That must it shouldn't be the top priority. Mm. And it isn't also shouldn't it shouldn't be the priority of the Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, agri to spend agric funds mm. to build a mosque. That's bad. So that's... when agric, when, ag when they request for it, yes. that should be sent to another exactly. ministry mm, who is handle. more appropriate. So that's, not the funds you yes. got for agriculture that's, that's, to do building. That's my own grouse. Because I'm not against them building a mosque. Because no, that all. was a request from the community. And I, we mm. shouldn't speak against that. Yeah. But if the people want a mosque, there should be proper um, ministry that handles that. Mm. Not the ministry of our Greek. And that's where the issue is. You, It's not within your own powers not to your, build a mosque. Not in the no, order of quality they, they, of your budget. Yes. Yes. You have a budget to fund the agricultural sector of Nigeria. So somebody else should have done that. Yes. Let's so list machinery that, you know... Um, 30 million naira could have ha aided, how it could have assisted the people. So they have elders. Imagine they had the milking machine mm. put at a particular point to assist if them they, in assessing milk and preserving and then reselling milk. 
instead of them just carrying their cattle up and down, they could also have tractors given to them yeah. to help them in farming uh, grass for their cultivating cattle. Hay. Cultivating hay. Uh, hay. And the people cultivating hay can just break out of the chain of um, mm. uh, normal, uh, cattle and mm -hmm. continue to uh, plant a hay and sell hay for as the business. people. Bus yes, as business. And so we break down the chain and employ more people. But then because foresight is something that is lacking, we decided that a mosque... I am a Muslim and so I have every right to say that a mosque is not the first thing. Mm. One of the reasons most of these farmers are where they are is because they do not have the proper education and exposure. And the people who, are, who have the education in the north and are open and honest and objective and fearless enough to speak spoke but the north elite did not listen but neva let us be careful this is born if you build a school you are you're actually making your people more susceptible to the um to the um uh, bandits to the insurgents i don't so agree. they're also being very careful here let's give the community what they want they say the ministry yeah. of agriculture will not build the school now yeah. right. so are they saying now that they do not need education because we have bandits attacking schools mm. what about uh, for me i think we need to be very careful on some of the actions that we take as a government uh this particular administration has been accused of being nepotistic in everything that they do because i remember the time we had a lot of farmers sacked in Benue State. We did not hear that the Ministry of Agriculture decided to build a church for some persons who were sacked or build a mosque for some persons who were sacked to be able to have a place of worship. We didn't have that. So if we now hear that in Borno State this has happened and they are using money from agricultural sector to build a mosque, Tomorrow now, we'll start hearing other people saying, okay, Requesting. what about the farmers from this area? Have you done something to yes. resettle them for their place of worship? So the government needs to be very careful in all of these actions. We have to work to it. Yeah, and it's not just, yeah. we don't just blame one person. There are many people that approve this thing. Yes, sir. Before mm. something gets approved, it goes through many layers and bureaucratic process. Yeah. Is it that nobody in that entire process saw this flag that this was wrong? Mm. Mm. Very, very bad. All right. Mansour right. Saidu says, it is right to do whatever that would improve farmers and agricultural production in Nigeria. Wow. Building a mosque means to utilize their time without going to a far place for prayer while farming. Mm. This is sad to know. I wonder what um, a place of prayer is to him. Temi Akenja said, the GCFR did not honor the chief of army staff in a country called Nigeria. Um, I am witty boy says, this will serve as lessons to others in the field of military that Nigeria deserve. Uh, these are, these are non-patriotic tweets. I can't take them. Yeah, and... yeah. But so, but we, as you wrap up on this, I think I want us to be very clear because listen, this is a community that's been torn apart, torn apart mm -hmm. because of insurgents. Yeah. And there, this, this is a minister that has provided boreholes, yeah. uh, some machinery for them to be yeah. able to continue their farming. And they, and one of their requests is we need, we need a mosque. We're not saying don't give them what they want because yeah. really and truly he should give them what they want. Mm -hmm. But we're saying that the budget of their Greek ministry ah. shouldn't have been used for that. At all. Maybe you could have deferred that to another another minister, another ministry, yeah. ministry to handle works. that for them. But the, but the truth is, it goes back to what what do we how do we prioritize mm -hmm. exactly. our needs? Yeah. Are we yeah. forward looking? Should you know? Should we, we still be farming people mm. like this now? When the whole world has gone mechanized, even technology has been involved in, included in, in, in uh, you know, new ways to farm. Why right. are we still where we are? All right. On that note, we need to wrap up. Any more tweets on this? We have to run. Um, Ola Bode says, "Good morning, ladies. We have said it here before. Our priorities are not right. What has building a mosque got to do with the Ministry of Agriculture, for God's sake? When other countries are talking of technology." Okay. For the future, we are busy discussing cows and heads. Okay, me. that's all we can take now. now. Because <laughs> we are not government officials, mm -hmm. we are going to celebrate Yeni and Nikula Pokuti. Yo, yo, yo! We'll be right back. back.